Hey y'all, good morning. It is Saturday. Halloween actually. <laughs> October 31st. So welcome, welcome. We haven't checked in in a minute. It's been a while. Your girl has been tired. She has been booked and busy. Teaching has been kicking my and uh, so it's been hard for me to keep up with this when I'm barely keeping up with my career that pays. You know, I got the mind of business that pays me. So <laughs> I got to stay focused on teaching first and foremost. Anyway, I have a lot going on today. I think I'm just going to make this a day in my life because I keep making these commitments to do a week in my life and they never work out well. So if I can remember to record tomorrow, I'll do a weekend in my life. But at the least, it'll just be a day in my life. So I'm about to go get my nails done. I'm getting these soaked off and getting a new set. I guess I'm also going to let my niece get her nails done since she insists on coming with me, um, which is fine. And then I need to come back and clean up. Let me show y'all what I'm working with. So this is my niece's things. Um, I still need to go and buy a new bookshelf. So that's just there until I get another one of these. I'm not in a particular rush. I'm not even reaching for these books over here, so it's fine. Um, anyway, so I just need to clean out her corner, get my stuff out of here. I don't mind her toys staying here. When it's time for her to go, I'll just have her clean it up. It's no point in me making her clean it up now because it's just going to get dirty again before she leaves. I need to clean off my futon. Hot mess express going on over here. I got laundry I need to put up. Her table is in the middle of the floor. She got Oreos on my floor. I definitely need to pick those up. I need to work on my planning for my agenda. So that's all that stuff down there. My school card, I need to break that down, figure out what I'm going to take this upcoming week. We only have three days in person at school this week. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I need to clean off my bed. I need to wash my sheets. <sighs> I need to clean up that area, clean off my desk, clean off that back table. My closet, thankfully, <laughs> clean off this bookshelf. This is a mess. Um, it's mostly clean. I need to wash, take this trash out. Her her area is pretty cool. This is my bag. I told her to just kick all of my stuff out of her area, but anyway, so this is to be cleaned up. But when I get back, I need to, like I said, do my laundry and just clean up this hot mess express. Your girl has let herself go this weekend, this week. Unacceptable. I'm not gonna bother making my bed. It's usually the first thing that I do every day, but I know I'm coming back home and stripping it, so it's cool. I get these once every blue moon, leaving my bed undone because my mom drilled it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, she looks so pretty. Just because there's not a lot for me, like, it's pointless for me to start teaching. I have stuff that I really need to teach, specifically math, but it's pointless for me to teach it. This is my current activity in my bed, watching Chelsea, I believe is her name, DIY Teacher Time. I'll link the channel down below. <laughs> so I am relaxing. My face is going through it, as y'all can see. Mask me is a real thing. But we're working through it. We're going to get through it. Hey y'all, uh, welcome back. Today is Monday, November 2nd. Yeah, day before election day. I am currently, should be on lunch break, but I'm waiting and working through lunch because I'm ready to be done. <sighs> Every year, twice a year, we have what we call common assessments and we have reading days where we are actually getting together as a group and scoring our students writing. Typically in years past, we score other teachers and we can't score our own. This year we're scoring our own and I'd almost rather score other teachers because <laughs> this has been so frustrating and I'm only halfway through one class. Um, this is a pretty big class. Well, I'm more than halfway through. I've done 20 out of 35. But um, completely frustrating, especially when you tell your students to use the supports that are provided and they still don't because they feel like they have it figured out. I'm also feeling very anxious for whatever reason. I'm not exactly sure why. But uh, let me go ahead and pop my, my gummy so I can feel the, the signs. 
I also probably need to eat some too because I haven't eaten. Highly recommend the Ali Goodbye Stress Gummies. Whether they actually do anything or not, I don't know in my mind they do, so they do. But I just wanted to check in before I forgot. Hopefully I remember to check in with y'all later. I want to keep grading so that I can be available <clears throat> to help others and get my work done, so. Hey y'all, today is Tuesday, November 3rd. It is election day. I am currently sitting in the parking lot of the car wash. If I would have known that it was gonna take this long to drive through, I probably wouldn't have come in, but now I'm boxed in, so. Hopefully they move a little bit quicker. But um, I'm a little grouchy. I'm a little grumpy because I'm hungry. And I was really craving this Tex-Mex restaurant, Lupe Tortilla. And I tried to order online three times. And it seems that they were offline. And I called them. And what she got going on? Anyway, I called them and tried to order via the phone and they answered, but then they hung up in my face. So, I mean, I can't beg you to, <laughs> I can't beg you to take money, you know, so that's that on that. I went to go pick up my bookshelves from Target. I ordered some bookshelves. Um, I meant to start recording earlier, watching me, you know, move things over and kind of pick and choose how I want to decorate. But I didn't really get much accomplished, so I'll get to show y'all that anyway still. Now this line is finally moving. All right. And, um, I don't know what she got going on, but this manager look like he is not for they bull today. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to day two of me setting up these dang on bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Wednesday, November 5th, 4th, 4th, the day after election day. Um, I got to kind of talk with a couple of my students about the election. Some of them, most of them were not interested. Um, but for the couple that were, I was really surprised at their level of knowledge and understanding of what's happening around them and who falls under the conservative versus the liberal and how you know, the church plays a role in the election and how abortion rights were kind of on the table and so many other things. So I was just, my mind is really blown. Um, so I got to kind of hang out with a couple of my students, not necessarily hang out, but we kind of discussed what was happening in the election during lunch. And, you know, one of them, um, when it was announced that Biden had won Wisconsin, <laughs> he ended up popping into my class and he was just like, miss, did you see we're up 10 points? So that was pretty exciting, but anyway. I need to put together the second bookshelf so that I can clear my floor and um, go ahead and make room for the bookshelf over um, on my school wall. And once I finish with that, I'm pretty much just going to chill and relax. None of my students have messaged me about any of the work for today, so hopefully all is well. Oh, before I do my bookshelf, I need to text these parents whose students were absent today. So let me do that. Yesterday's bookshelf. Y'all only saw 27 seconds of it, but my goodness, it took me a good two hours. Took forever. All right, let me stay focused and I'll get back to y'all. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Good 
today is Thursday, November 5th. We are still waiting on election results. And I just wanted to beat my face this morning. So I'm wearing two palettes. I'm wearing the Ciate, I guess I can show you. I use the Ciate London, the editor palette, New England edition. Oh, the second palette that I used was the Through My Eyes. I love Seta E and ColourPop. I used this um, color Mesmerize, and I also used Moody on my bottom lash line. So I wanted to match my shirt today. And um, so I got my red on my lips my gold even though that's not in my shirt but i'm obviously not wearing white eyeshadow and uh, that's what i got going on this morning i'm about to head out of here and head to my school we have a fire drill today i'm also supposed to be having a check-in with one of my supervisors i also have another observation um, by another one of my supervisors this morning this is just going to be a very fun filled morning taken care of y'all I don't know what has been happening to my skin lately but mask knee is real I see it on my jaw I've been breaking out like right here I spent all this time during quarantine or working from home I guess I should say getting my skin perfect getting my skin together well not necessarily perfect but getting it together only for me to have masks be my downfall <laughs> i just don't understand all right y'all we back in action yes yes i have missed my hair oh my goodness i was supposed to get a sewing today but i decided to switch it so I'll get a sew in in a couple of weeks and I'm just rocking my hair for a couple of weeks so I am happy about that I'm gonna go get myself and my mommy and my niece us something to eat and then I'm heading home I will hope that I just made because this is a little bit crooked too that's what it takes to this Dum, num, num, num. Mm, that was so. So, I gotta take care of this because y'all can see that the whole world thing. Because y'all don't to. So, yeah, I be trying to twist the world because I don't want to bring it apart. So, I got to turn around again. See, I can see the whole doorbell. Go close to that. Turn up around because we're looking for Look, you can see it.
decided to have a day off. Um, it's really not completely a day off. This is a day for me to catch up. I have a lot of work to do. And it's just, I needed this day to not be in front of my students teaching and trying to catch up and do all of the things. So I need to finish my data dive that's due tomorrow. I need to turn in my lesson plans for African American studies. I need to lesson plan for the remainder of this week. I already posted the notes for Thursday, which is finishing up Lord of the Flies completely. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to do Friday as an introduction to our next unit, Malcolm X. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I, I need to plan for African-American studies for tomorrow and Friday as well. I might cancel Friday. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be ready to go. I'm going to be ready, you know, to start my break after 4 o'clock on Friday. So, we shall see. We shall see. Depends on what my turnout is looking like tomorrow. Because it's been declining lately. And I'm not exactly sure why. But, so, that's all of that. I can't sit here and continue talking and expect that things are going to get done. So, let me get on up and let's keep it going. Thank you.